We are no stranger to in-home devices like Amazon Echo, Google Home, and Apple HomePod. Now, these devices make our lives easier or harder depending on who you ask and which one you selected, but for the most part, they provide convenience while also collecting a lot of data on the people in the home. Unfortunately, these devices are not free from being exploited by bad actors, as all three of these have had exploits, causing them to do things from allowing bad actors to listen in on your conversations, to even unlocking your doors if they are connected. Samsung's Knox Matrix plans to take this security to the next level. This is the Digital Prepper, and today I'm going to be talking about Samsung's Knox Matrix, what it is and how it works, whether or not it's a good thing, and what this could possibly mean for the future of home devices. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you do like the video and want to discuss anything regarding digital preparedness, or just preparedness in general, be sure to help this video get out to more potential preppers by leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing to see more like this. With that being said, let's get started. So, if you currently own a Samsung device, like a phone, tablet, or TV, you may be familiar with Samsung Knox already. But if you're not, to put it simply, from Samsung themselves, they define Samsung Knox as a ultra-secure mobile security functionality for businesses and individuals looking for top-of-the-line data protection. Basically, what this means is that this utilizes hardware built into the devices themselves that keeps your data on the devices encrypted and protected, or so they say. Now, before we get into Samsung Knox Matrix, let me explain to you what a blockchain is. You may have heard of blockchain technology from things like cryptocurrency, but you might not know exactly what it actually means. Basically, blockchain technology is a data store where anyone can see all of the data, new data can be added by anyone, however, the most important thing is that most blockchains aren't controlled by any one person or group, and existing data cannot be changed without everyone in the blockchain knowing. Now, Knox Matrix is stated to be Samsung's new smart home security strategy that will link all of your devices to a private blockchain so all of the devices are monitoring each other. The idea is that because the devices are monitoring themselves, if Let's say one of your smart appliances is compromised, then the others should detect this and kick that one out of the smart home network. On the other hand, the Knox Matrix blockchain also sees if each device is using the latest software. And if it's not, it prompts for an update or even downloads the file on one device and sends it to the other that needs it. Now again, to be clear, Home devices that use Knox Matrix are only linked to a private blockchain on your network, not any of the public ones tied to cryptocurrencies. With that being said, let's take a look at whether or not this is a good thing or not. So looking at first impressions, this honestly looks like a good thing, as because your devices would be on a private blockchain, this would theoretically be more secure than them constantly relaying data to and from a cloud network. Though, do remember that they would connect to the cloud to download updates and such. A real-world example that they mention on how this would work is that you might, let's say, have a Samsung Smart Air Purifier, but it hasn't been updated, which means that the software is outdated and is at risk of being attacked. Now, you wouldn't know this because you might have not used its application or you haven't logged into anything for over a year. Now, if this device was infected, then an attacker would use it to compromise your other devices like your phone or your computer. With Knox Matrix, the air purifier would alert other devices in the network that it's outdated and at risk and would need to run a software update 
so that it can be protected and the rest of your network will be protected as well. Now, to be honest, one of the things that I do question is the fact that we're making so many things smart. I'm not sure if an air purifier or fan or some of these other home devices really need to be smart. It just makes more attack vectors in your home, but that argument is for really another video. Overall, I sometimes worry that any one of the few smart devices that I do have in my home are being used as an entry point to break into my home network, and as a result, I really reluctantly purchase those products. And I do take further measures to isolate them on a separate segment of my network, which can be considered a little bit more advanced than what the normal person would do. Hopefully, Knox Matrix would make the devices stay a step ahead of potential attacks. So what are the potential issues with Knox Matrix? Well, funny enough, looking through my research, I really couldn't find that many. Leave a comment below if you do have a problem with this type of technology. But one of the first is the notion that because this uses blockchain technology, that this would be seen as quote unquote unhackable or something along that line. Just like how people used to say that Mac and Linux were immune to viruses. Well, unfortunately, this is just simply not the case because there has been plenty of instances where blockchain technology has been exploited on the cryptocurrency side and bad actors were able to do things like steal millions and even billions of dollars from cryptocurrency exchanges. Check the description for eight more security issues with private blockchains. One of the other issues deals with the supply chain and the availability of the hardware that makes up these devices. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, Samsung Knox is a hardware-based security, meaning that there's actual microchips that go into the hardware to make Knox a possibility. And due to all of the shortages that are happening currently, this could make manufacturing the devices harder, cost more, or take longer to receive if you want to use them. Like I continue to mention, the best way to be prepared for future attacks is to be proactive in your preparedness plans. Now, with technology continuing to evolve in very extravagant ways, there's gonna be more extravagant ways that bad actors will want to use to exploit and break into your data, as it is worth a lot these days. Now, Knox Matrix will be made available later in 2023, and honestly, I'm pretty interested in seeing how it works and how safe and secure it'll make these devices that a lot of us already have. Now, some of you might leave a comment saying, well, digital, I, I would never have this in my house. I'm not gonna let them steal my data. But the honest truth is that most of you watching this video probably own smartphones, laptops, desktop computers, maybe even a smart TV. And currently these days, any and all of those can be an attack vector. So. I would say, why not at least just take a look at this to see if this could protect the devices that you already have. Or don't, and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to get more videos like this that will help you with your digital preparedness. If you have any ideas for more videos or just want to share your experiences with prepping, please leave a comment down below. Stay safe. Stay prepared, more digital prepping to come.